So, I'm going to go through my drawers, my makeup collection, and uh, since I'm moving, I'm going to put everything in those, it's a lot of boxes, and like bags, so I'll put stuff in there, and also in that makeup bag. So, I thought I would show you a bit of my collection while I do that. And also tell you what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. So a little bit of a declutter, but not really. It's more like packing down the stuff and I might get rid of some stuff. I have like perfumes, deodorant, and some like wings and stuff. My room is kind of a mess because I'm in the middle of like moving and stuff. So in my first drawer, I have hair stuff. So like hairsprays, tattoos, and like, yeah, like dry powder, like creams and stuff. So everything hair related. And then go down and I have my like blushes and highlighters. And then in the back I have like some extra stuff like Halloween stuff and stuff like that. And this highlight is pain to store because it's so big um, so yeah, I just keep that in front then you go down and then in the back I have kind of like a medicine drawer and then I have powders liquid lipsticks regular lipsticks I do have most of my lipsticks over there which I will show you and then you go down and here I have my lashes there's like some extra stuff that i'm currently not using and in the back i have single shadows and here's the empty big plus then i have nail polish i have um sunglasses and then in this one i have like pigments and glitters glitter glue and stuff like that and then this is my palette drawer both face and eye palettes we'll go through that a bit more later then down one more i have body and face stuff it's like here i have uh, like face mask and stuff and then here is like uh, body moisturizers and then I have makeup bags and then in the bottom I have hair stuff so like hair ties and stuff like that then if we move over here this is where I have most of my lipsticks so up here I have my liquid lipsticks and here I have regular lipsticks that I use more often or that I like to show like my MAC lipsticks all over here and uh, then here I have some everyday stuff and in the back I have like liners, mascaras and stuff like that we will go through that a bit more later and then in these two drawers I had jewelry but I've packed that already and then I have like primers and like stuff I use kind of every day and then here is my Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette, which I will be keeping. They look pretty. It's new, so I will be keeping that. And here is where my beauty blender lives. And here is my brushes, setting sprays, and then I have this Ofra thing from the tutorial system in order to. So yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is things that are fragile, that really have to be in boxes. I think I'm gonna start with like uh, my blushes and highlights. So this is all my highlighters. So we can just start with this beast in the front. So this is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's the only highlight that I have from him and it's in Eclipse. It was the collaboration with Manny and it looks like this. Kind of beat up that's what it looks like really pretty like pink pinkish gold kind of 
I will be keeping this because like it was expensive so yeah I want to keep it and I've used this a lot on cheerleading competitions when I was a coach this was the highlight that my girls used because it's big and I felt like <laughs> I could spare this because like I don't use it every day so I didn't mind and also it's so big so it wouldn't make a dent in it even if I used it on a lot of people so yeah I will be keeping this. Next up, let's go with the Ofra highlighters, which, which you can see swatches off uh, in my Ofra video. Um, this is the highlights that I want on the giveaway. So let's look. Guys, Donut, which I'm keeping. Then we have Space Baby, which I'm also keeping. Then we have Cloud Nine, which looks like this. Then we have all of the lights, which look like this. We have this mini palette, which I kind of dropped, so it's kind of hard to open, but all of the highlights held, so none of them broke, so that's good. But it's kind of hard to close and open, which is sad. But uh, yeah, this is the midi palette to on myself. Then let's do my Anastasia one. So this is so this is the Anastasia Amrisi highlight. I love this highlight. I use it a lot. It looks like this. Really pretty. Looks like that. A really pretty golden highlight. So that's coming with me like I think I'm not gonna throw away that much it might be like some some old stuff that I don't really need anymore and then let's do Mac and then we take the so Mac I have this extra dimension skin finish in whisper of guilt Really pretty golden highlight. As you can see, I do really love a golden highlight. I have a few of those. I do have some bigger highlighting palettes, but I will um, do them when I do my other palettes. And then this is kind of old. And I almost hit pan on, I like hit pan on it in the middle. This is the um, Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle. Like it's just like it's an old cult favorite that's really pretty like i love this highlight it's one of the first mac things that i bought and i think it might actually be the first highlighter that i bought if i'm not mistaken so yeah this baby is coming with me let's take this one also this is nikki tutorials everglow i'm keeping that too that was the one that was in the Nikki stand over on my makeup desk. And then I have my Becca highlights. I have this one, which I don't really use that much. It's the um, Light Shasha highlights in the color Amethyst Flashes. And it looks like this. It's this really, really pink I think I uh, maybe I should put this with my eyeshadow so maybe I'll use it more it's just too dark like it's it's good if I mix it with another like whitish highlight looks like that doesn't look that dark on camera but mm, I have to try this out a bit more before I decide if I want to throw it out or not or not throw it out like give it to a friend or something and then my last two like this one is in Champagne Pop, and if I'm not mistaken, this one is smashed. Yeah. So I have to fix this one, but I'm not going to be able to do that before we move. So I'm just going to have to bring it and hope it doesn't go everywhere. So yeah, it's really sad. I don't know how this one smashed, but yeah. I do love Becca highlights, so... And also, I love supporting, like, YouTubers... 
So this is the one that they did with Jaclyn Hill. It's the champagne pop. The last highlight is the Becca in the color Opal. <laughs> I've hit pan on this like real hard. Um, but I don't have the heart to draw it out yet. It still works. So I'm gonna keep this and then I think when I'm like when it's almost all the way gone, I might buy another one because I do really love this color. So first we have blushes and bronzers. Let's start with blushes. This was this one is MAC in the color Peachy Keen, I think it's called. And it looks like this. Really pretty, like kind of peachy pink color, which is what I mostly use, like peachy pinks. So, um, California blush is kind of a mini, Looks like this. I'm keeping that too. Then I have this really old. I don't really know what this is, and I'm actually gonna declutter this one. Like this is a blush, it's supposed to be a blush. I'm not gonna use that. And it's, and also it's really old, so I'm not gonna give it to someone. I'm gonna throw it out because it's really old. I don't even know what brand this is. Like that's how old it is. So yeah, I'm gonna throw this out. First thing I'm gonna declutter, this Ofra blush in the color blue. Which again, you can see swatches of and me using in my Ofra video that should be up before this. This is what it looks like. It's a peachy blush again. Keeping that. And then I have um, this Ofra bronzer in Americana, which I'm keeping. And then I have this Too Faced, I think it's called, like it's all scratched up, but I think it's the Snow Bunny one, something like that, looks like this, I think it's called Snow Bunny, and I, you can see that I almost hit a pan on this one, and then I have this other so Chocolate Soleil mini bronzer, that I think I got in a set or something, if I, or if I got it for free or something. I haven't used it as much, but kind of forgot that I had it, so maybe this should go in my travel bag also. So that's all the blushes and bronzers. And then in the back, I have like extra stuff that I don't really use, or it's like Halloween stuff. Like this is all like Vaseline, wax, and all of that stuff, and this is like a red lipstick from L'Oreal that I don't really use but I use it if I need like uh, a red lipstick for Halloween stuff and then this is blotting paper which I don't really use should I keep this let's just put it in my bag and see if I use it and then this is like face paint not going there fake blood not going there and more paper. So that's this drawer. Oh, I hate these. So we used, um, I brought this on like competition stuff so that the girls could use them. So I don't really want to throw them away. If I ever need that again. Or like the girls that didn't have their own makeup brushes. So I'm gonna keep them, but I don't use them for myself. But that's empty. And then... quite a good box so I think I'm gonna just keep it in here because it has a lid so I can close it up but I'm gonna show you what I do have so this I don't really have much like single eyeshadows because I mostly use palettes anyway but this is an eyeshadow from MAC it's Naked Lunch from MAC which is also kind of a cult favorite that everyone have had once in your life. Then I have this Buxom eyeshadow that I used for prom. This in this champagne color. 
unfortunately I do not have the name then I have this makeup store this bluish color I'm just doing the color pearl mystic a micro shadow then I have this pigment from NYX and it's this pearl mania pigment and but it's this um, coppery color then I have this random eyeshadow that I got in a um, glossy box, like a prescription box. And I do think I'm gonna pass this along. And this is a loose eyeshadow from something, also from a glossy box. It's this golden eyeshadow. Then I have this other MAC eyeshadow, which is this really dark purpley color. Like this really dark purpley maroon. I don't know if you can see that. And it's in the color 100 strokes or 100 strokes. Then I have this random eyeshadow as well, which is this really pretty purple color. And I don't really have an eyeshadow like this, so I'm gonna keep it, even though I don't use it a lot. And it's a safari. I showed a safari in Man Eater. Yeah. Also from the glossy box. And this is just the loose um, silver glitter. I'm not gonna open it or it will go everywhere. But I will keep this in this box because it has a lid. And I will put some other stuff in here also. So I'm just gonna put that over here for now to store as it is. So this is my, I'm sorry that this is a bit like jumping all over the place, but yeah, this is like my loose pigment. So really my pigment that was in the other drawer should have been in here, but yeah, anyways. This is my MAC pigment in Melon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I guess. It's a really pretty golden pink uh, pigment. I like this one a lot. And I have this um, Revolution Liquid Highlight in the color Liquid Champagne. And then I have this Heavy Metal Liner from Urban Decay in Pyro. It's a really pretty whitish silver. Really pretty. MAC Dazzling Liquid Eyeshadow. In the color every day is sunshine then i have this liquid um highlighter from kicks which is a swedish brand i also used this on competitions on my girls when i was a coach but i don't want to throw it out because there's still a lot so i'm using it and then i have a max drop cream which i don't use that often but it's in here and then also I have this glitter glue from Too Faced. So yeah, I'm keeping this and I'm putting it straight down in this box. Then I have a sunglasses, which can go in, but not right now. And then I have nail polishes. I'm gonna go through this, but I'm gonna do it later, not in this video. I'm just gonna put in the stuff, like extra stuff that I don't use currently. Like this one, I'm gonna throw out. Like, I kept this because I wanted to know what color I'm in, but I think I'm just gonna write that up and then throw it out. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which you can see is empty, and I'm in the color NC15. I'm just gonna throw that out. Then I have the Hangover Primer, which is almost completely empty. So I probably should throw this out. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this out because it's like completely empty. And then what else do we have? We have my Marc Jacobs foundation, which I do have in my everyday over there, but this is a darker shade. This is in the shade Honey Medium, which I use in the summer, or I mix with my other shade. The other shade that I have is 
ivory medium or medium ivory yeah medium ivory is my uh, everyday color so I have two of those you know what I'm just gonna wait with this drawer and maybe put it in a bag where if it smashes it doesn't ruin everything I guess I'm just gonna wait with that one sorry guys um, these palettes let's just go with lashes so I do have not a lot of lashes but I do have some so I have this uh, case from House of Lashes which I have some lashes in which is all iconics I think I really need to fix this up but I don't really want to do it right now but they are all the iconic uh, lashes and then I have these lashes from House of Lashes which is in the sh which is in Bambi I never use this they do not flatter my eyes so I think I'm gonna throw these ones out I've used them like once or twice so I don't feel comfortable giving them to someone else so I'm just gonna throw it out then I have two of the Ardell like lash glues so I do have two of them so I'm gonna throw this one out because it's almost completely empty and this one is a new one and yeah I have one more iconic which is one of my favorite lashes of all time from House of Lashes. And then I have all of my Lily lashes. I have uh, the like the one that everyone has, like the Miami lashes. Then I have Orlando, which I haven't used yet. Chicago, which I also haven't used yet. And then Houston, which I used uh, the other day. So Mark Jacobs foundation. I just put that in a bag so it doesn't like go everywhere. I'm also gonna um, take this, which is here with my everyday things. But I am currently using um, my hourglass stick more, so that is going to go in my everyday drawer or my everyday makeup bag that I have over there. So I am in the color shell, which looks like this. So that's my everyday shade. So I'm gonna put this also in that makeup bag, in a Ziploc bag. And I also have the primer that goes with it and I'm gonna put that in there as well. It's almost empty, but I love this primer, so I'm not throwing it out. The primer that I am currently using is this Kix um, Shine and Glow Primer. So I'm gonna put that in my everyday over here. And also my Tarte, um, Timeless smoothing primer base. It's also going in there. And I am currently using the Shape Tape Concealer, which is my favorite. So that is also going in my everyday makeup bag over here. This is completely empty, so I should throw this out. But yeah, it's expensive. I did like it when I used it, but we'll see if I repurchase this or not. I think I will, but not right now. I have a lot of other primers that I'm using currently, so, but I did enjoy this one. Then back to this, this is my Born This Way foundation, uh, which is almost completely empty, but I have a little bit left, I think. <laughs> I'm in the color light beige, so yeah, I'm putting that in as well. Another one of my uh, hourglass stick foundation. This is in a darker shade. This is in the color sand. And it's a little bit too dark for me currently. So I will use this uh, when I get a bit more of a tan. I have a backup of my Tarte Shape Tape. Which I'm in the color light sand. I have a Tarte like uh, for Rainforest of the Sea collection with like it has setting mist, it has uh, a moisturizer and a primer. Now I think I'm going to go into my liquid lipsticks and lipsticks. Start with the ones that I have in my drawers, which is the ones that I do not use as often, or it's not up for like display reasons. Like most of my liquid lipstick here are like 
like these are my newest ones and then there's my Kyla ones and my um, Marc Jacobs ones which is like real pretty store up there so that's why they are there and this is also like smaller ones which doesn't really display as good up there so let's start with my um should I just go by brand yeah let's do that uh i have this kicks one is this really pretty wine red color pretty dark red so i'm gonna keep that and then i'm gonna go with huda beauty i have this lip strobe from her in the color shameless um pinkish color with different specks of glitter in it and then i have the marvelous okay, i think it's a pretty pinks or something just like these four lipsticks and they are in the colors medusa which is this dark um like brownish color and then i have get setter which is more of this pinkish color And then I have Iconic, which is this really pretty pink color. And then the last one is in Thrill Who Wife, which is this really pretty dark pink. And then we have my two Jeffree Star cosmetics, which is also from the Manny collection. And it's this uh, orangey red in I'm Shook. And uh, this brown color in Daddy. Then we have this random uh, red lipstick, which is a really good looking lipstick from the brand Elizabeth Moth. And it's also from uh, a glossy box, so I'm keeping that. And I have my mini Kylie, it was her birthday collection and they were a pain to get. Um, they sold out like in minutes and I managed to get them. And they are in the colors. Uh, Coco K, and these are mini ones. Um, Dolce K, which is a brown. Uh, Leo, which is this dark purpley brown. Um, Exposed, which is this um, nude color. Candy K, which is one of her classic first shades she got. And oh, I think this is Crystal, right? Yeah, Kristen, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of a mix between a pink and a red. So it's kind of like an old school pink, like a dusty pink. And continuing on my Kylie lip with lipsticks, let's do the Coco collection. Uh, I also managed to get these ones. And they are in the gold packaging. Um, and they are the colors. I think it's gonna be like Clo Money, because it's like a dollar sign. Then I have Diva something. It's the glittery one, the, like the lip gloss. But like the label is gone. Then we have Gorgeous, which is like this a dark maroon. And then we have Okr, which is this pinkish red. I think when because I'm gonna do an updated like when we move and everything is set and done like how I stored everything, and then maybe I can do some more lip swatches and stuff, but like I have to have a better setup. Like now I have like this sofa stick. I don't know if you can see it. Let's put it like this. I'm like balancing it under my arm, so it's kind of hard to do swatches. So I'm just gonna do it like this, and then I have. Three more Kylie shades. I have Candy K, which was the first I bought from her, I think. So it looks like this. And then I have um, Mary Jo K, which is for her grandma, I think. Which is this really pretty red shade. Uh, I do have the lip liner for that one, but like it's kind of uh, like broken. So I don't really use it, so I think I'm gonna throw that one out. Then also I got this for free. It's the K Majesty. Like, when am I when am I ever gonna use this? But I'm gonna keep it 
because I got it for free and I think maybe for Halloween or something I could use it. Then I have two of Marc Jacobs liquid lipsticks and they are not matte liquid lipsticks, they're kind of like side and finish maybe because they're, they do not dry down matte. Uh, I have the colors Slow Burn, which is like this pinkish mauve color. And then I have Shush Blush, which is this pinkish red color. It looks more pink here, but it's kind of a burnt pink maybe. And then I have uh, the Ofra Cosmetics with Many MUA collection. And they are in the color Charmed, Aries, and Hypno. Then I also have these ones, which are the Nikki Tutorial ones. And they are in the colors Coven, Spell, and Nude Potion. I have this Victoria's Secret one, which I bought by accident, but I actually do love it. And it's in the color Love. It's a cream liquid lipstick. I do like it. Uh, I accidentally bought it. I thought I bought a perfume, but I bought a lipstick, so yeah. And then I have one Kat Von D, and it's in the color Lolita 2. So yeah, that's what the ones look like. Well, let's go with these ones, which are the ones that I don't use as often. This is uh, Isadora. I don't know if you have that in the States, but here in Sweden, and it's in the color 155. Um, Cinadel, maybe. And this is a color that I have when I, uh, I did a competition um, with my team. And uh, it looks like this. It's a really unique color. Like, I don't use it. I want to keep it because it's like memories. And maybe I'll use it sometime. Maybe in fall. And it's a really unique color. I have this NYX matte color that I got as a gift. Also a quite unique color, it's kind of similar, uh, let me swatch them side by side. Oh, well, they're, they're really similar, if you look at them like this. Can I justify keeping both? No, I can't. Mm, which should I keep? You know what, I'm just gonna keep both. It's Michael Kors lipstick that I also got as a gift from my friends. And it's in this really pretty pink color. And I'm keeping this. Then I have this little NARS shabby stick. This red color. Which is called... Cruella. And I have some Bite Beauty minis that I got when I was in the United States. I have... they were like in a kit. And they are in the colors big, which looks like this. They're like meteor, they're real cute. This pink and honeycomb, looks like this. Ori, which is this dark color. Then pepper, which I have used, and I'm putting this in my everyday makeup bag. It's like more normal, like that I use on life every day. Um, let's do my non-MAC and then do my MAC. So this is my YSL, the only thing YSL that I own. So Rouge Shine Lipstick. And this is in the color 47. This is the color that I used when I, for my graduation and my prom. So this has a close bond to me, like it's really beaten up. But I can't throw it away because it has so much memories. And I do use it from time to time. So I'm keeping that. Then I have my Anastasia um, matte lipstick in a color Rosewood. Which I mostly bought because of the name. Because I love pretty little liars. But it's also a stunning color. I also got this for my, for my friend for her birthday. It's a really pretty color. Then we have my MAC ones. So I store them from lightest to darkest. And then I have this Viva Glam red one. Which is really beaten up. And I should throw it away. But I can't. 
I guess I'm a Mac collector and a hoarder. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it. Then uh, if we start from the bottom, we have Velvet Teddy. This is like everyone has owned this sometime in their life. Mine is almost all the way gone. If I ever finish it, I have to buy a new one because I love this lipstick. It's the perfect nude color. Then we have Please Me, which is a matte. Which is this really pretty light pink. And then we have a cream sheen in Sunny Soul, which is this really vibrant pinkish coral color, which I do like. Then we have Brave, it's a satin color. I bought this when I was in London, it's a really pretty pink color. And then I have Mare, which is one of my favorites as well. It's this pretty pink. Then we have a frost that is no longer have a name. Which is almost empty, so I used it a lot. So I'm gonna use this up, but I don't think I'm gonna repush it. I do not even know which one it is, so yeah. Then I have, no, oh, that's the darkest one. Let's go with this one. Cravings, which is an amplified formula, which is this pretty pink. As you can tell, I love pink lipsticks. And then we have Amorous, which is a setting formula, which is a bit, a tad darker than the other one. And then we have the darkest one of them all, which is Diva, and it's a matte. And this is really dark, vampy red. And then I also have some liners. This is a Kyla one, like look, it's like completely broken. So I'm gonna throw this one away. Uh, but then I have a MAC one in burgundy. Which I use with um, the last lipstick that I showed you in Diva. I like to match this one up because Diva is so dark that you really do need uh, a liner for that. So I use this one and again it's the burgundy one from MAC. Uh, this random one, which is like a coral, coral pink, which I'm keeping because as I said I do not have a lot of lip liners and then I have another curly one which is also like broken but yeah I'm gonna throw this one away too this is the one that was with K and K continue with the ones that I have over here over here which is like kind of miscellaneous like it's kind of mixed but yeah this is my eyebrow gel that I use it's from Pixie and it's in translucent then here I have some liners and stuff like that. This is another eyebrow gel that I'm not using currently. But I'm almost out of my pixie one, so I might use this one afterwards. Then I have some eyeliners. Uh, this is a black one, which I got in a glossy box. And a purple one that I also got in a glossy box. And I'm going to keep both. I don't use liner that often, but if I do, I have those two. And then I have this really beaten up gold one which i'm gonna throw away then i have my brow whisk, which is the eyebrow stuff that i use every day and my kat von d liquid eyeliner in the color trooper and i have my tarte lights camera splashes which is the mascara that i'm currently using i either use this or my max factor 200 calories so my mac paint pot in soft ochre is going straight in my makeup bag because i use this every day that i use eyeshadow mac fluid line in black track is this all dried out i'm wondering yeah like this completely dried out i'm just gonna throw this away i did enjoy it but i do not like pot eyeliner as much anymore i do prefer like a liquid liner you know, like felt tip so i'm gonna throw this away my ofra flex liner uh, if you've seen that video you know that i'm on the fence about this one because it's so liquidy but i'm gonna keep it and try it out a bit more before i decide if i want to keep it or not I have my Anastasia powder in also taupe as my brow is was and I'm keeping them. And then I have my NARS concealer uh, in the color light one channel thing. Um, I do not like this as a concealer but I do like to use this to cut up my brows. We have a cream color which I also got in a bird, um, glossy box. 
and it's this pretty I don't really know it's quite a unique color and I do not have much of cream eyeshadow so I want to keep this one it's like a golden bronze yeah I'm keeping that Here's. So this one is uh, the one that I use every day, and it's the translucent Laura Mercier one. I tried the Huda one. I like the Huda one for all over the face, but I do like um, the Laura Mercier more for under the eyes. I have a backup of that one, so when that one runs out, I will be going over this. Or I will try to use up the Huda one. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And then I have this random like banana powder. I haven't really gotten into this. I also got this from a glossy box. Maybe I'll try this out. Maybe yeah, I'll keep it and try it because I don't even think I've opened it up. Let's see. Nope. I haven't even opened it up. Ugh. I'll just keep it for now and then if I don't use it in like a month or so, I'm gonna throw it out. Or, I mean, give it to someone. Then I have my Lumine powder. Which I did love for a while. But, like, my Laura Mercier took over. But I do like this for a more affordable price. Because this was, like, 155 Swedish crowns. And I think the Laura Mercier is around 300 and something. This is embarrassing. This is empty. It's um, the Laura Mercier Bright Setting Powder. I bought this in America. It's completely empty. But like, I wanted to buy another one, but I can't justify because it's so expensive. Maybe I'll buy it again if I ever go to America because it's cheaper there. But for now, you have to go. You're empty, and I'm not getting any use of you because you're empty. You're just taking up space. So yeah, I'm throwing that out. So this is some sheet mask from Kix, which I do enjoy. I have a um, HD fence and a vitamin C one. And then I have this Mud Sky Sleep Repair Mask. I also got this in a glossy box, I think. I'll put that in there as well. And then I have this makeup remover, which I might put in my everyday makeup bag. I just put it aside for now. I do have more face masks in my bathroom that I think I'm gonna put in that bag as well, but these are just the ones that I have in my makeup storage. I have this Star Skin Plumping Hydrating uh, Lip Masks. Which I might need one because my lips are really dry right now. But I'm gonna put that in the bag. And then I have this Sephora eye mask, the green tea one. Put that in as well. Then I have a Star Skin uh, face, no, eye mask. It's like this lace thing, which will, would be fun to try out. But yeah, I'm keeping that as well. I'm not throwing away anything of like skincare things because you always use it up. Then I have this 7 second morning mask, which I'm also keeping. I've tried this before and I did enjoy it. I'm keeping that. And then I have another eye mask from Sephora, which somehow got ink on it. Um, and it's the Pro Eye Mask. Keeping that. Then I have two of the Lotus face masks. From Sephora. Uh, and then I have this one, which I don't really enjoy because I have dry skin and it hurts like beep. It hurts a lot to use, but I'm keeping it. And I'm maybe my boyfriend will enjoy this more, or like one of my friends or something. But I'm keeping it for now, and we'll see if I start enjoying it more. Yeah. Then I have this really small serum. I'm just gonna put that in there as well. My yeah, eyeshadow palettes and my palettes because I have a lot. Like, there's a lot. Let me just pull them out and then we'll go through them. Well, let's just do eyeshadow first and then we'll do face palettes. So these are all of my eyeshadow palettes. Like, 
it's not that bad. I think it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. It's like 18 palettes, which is not bad. So yeah, let's go through them. Let's start with the smaller palettes. Yeah, let's do that. I have my MAC Mini Quad in the colors Burgundy times 9. Haven't used this in a while, but I did enjoy it when I did use it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Just a warning, I'm not gonna throw a lot of my eyeshadows away. I said that I would, but I don't think I will. <gasps> I love eyeshadows so much. Like, eyeshadows is like my weakness. So yeah, I'll keep this one. Then we have this Sigma in the Smoke Spoon palette. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this one. Like, I've had this for a long time and it's almost not even touched. Like, it's sad. So, I'm gonna give this to someone who's gonna like it a lot more than me. So, yeah. Because I haven't used this as much as I should. And I do not love the formula of this one. I want to try some other Sigma stuff to see if maybe they change the formula. Because some of these are quite shocky. So, unfortunately, the smoke screen Sigma is going to go. Then, another one that I also think is going to go is the Urban Decay Naked 3. I did use this. But I think that I have palettes that have these same kind of colors. And also, this is really old. And I think that it's not safe to put on the eyes anymore. I'm just gonna throw this one out because it's really old. So unfortunately, Urban Decay Naked 3 has got to go. And I'm gonna throw it out. This is my Kylie one. It's the bronze one. Like everything on the back has been scratched off. This is a really good palette. I've used it a lot on competitions because it's like small and has like the colors that we used. So I've used this one a lot. So I'm keeping this one. It's also the only Kylie palette that I own. I do want to buy another one in the future because I do think like this is the first eyeshadow palette that she like brought out. So I think she changed the formula. So I would like. Because they have, these ones are quite drying. So they're quite dry. Uh, and I want to try if the new formula is better. But I am keeping this one. And this one I'm on the fence about. Because I haven't used it a lot. Have you, it's really pretty colors. But like these ones up here just didn't do much for me. Like... They're prettier in the pan that they, than they are on the eyes, but and also they're like two matte shadows in here. Like that's not enough in a palette. But I do think I'm gonna keep it and try it out for a little bit longer. And also it was a gift, so I want to give it another try and see if I love it or not. So I'll try to use this a bit more, and if I haven't used it in my next declutter, then I'm gonna give it away. But yeah, this is the Revolution Yule Collection. Now to my bigger palettes, which I am keeping every single one, I think. Oh, no, never mind, I have the Marc Jacobs, which is a smaller palette, which I am keeping for sure. This shade... I dropped this once and it kind of went everywhere, so it, which is really sad. And also, I haven't used this in a long time, so I think actually I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup bag and try to use this a bit more. Then let's do my newest one. So the Allen and Tart one is new. I've used it like two times. It's still in the box. Um, but I am keeping this, and I think I'm also gonna keep this in my everyday makeup bag to use a bit more because it's, it's my newest palette, and I want to explore it some more. So 
So yeah. Then the ink lot. I put this together myself on like we were in a, on like a makeup thing in Stockholm with my school when I went to become a makeup artist. And yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked these colors because like they're so boring. But like English shadows are good, but I can't really get an eye look out of these and I do not use them a lot. But they were kind of expensive, so I'm gonna keep them for now. And then if I don't use them, I'm gonna give them away. I'm not doing that good at decluttering, but yeah, I did declutter a while ago, so it's not that bad. Oh, and I almost forgot, I have this palette as well, which is like some random palette that's like broken. And has like a million shades but I kept this because it has so many shades but like I have the James Charles palette now which has like a lot of shades so I do think I can part with this one because like it's broken and it's really old I think this is like probably one of the first palettes that I ever bought so sadly this one gotta go with my Anastasia palettes. So I have two Anastasia. And I have the Soft Glam and the Modern Renaissance. So the Soft Glam one is real pretty. I do love this one. And I've used it a lot. And yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one. The same with my Modern Renaissance. I'm never throwing this away. Like, I love this one. Like, I've hit the pan on that one, that one, and I'm almost hit pan, and I almost hit pan on that one. Uh, and I do really love this palette, and I haven't used it as much as I should. So, I'm definitely keeping both of those. Let's do MAC. I loved MAC back in the day. I, don't get me wrong, I still love MAC. But I do think that their singles are kind of better than their palettes. So I did use this a lot. I got this as a birthday present for my friends. And I think I need to bring this out again. Because the colors are really pretty. Like they're really neutral, but they're really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one. But I need to give it more love. So I'm keeping it. The same goes for my Huda Beauty, which is the only Huda Beauty palette that I own, and it's the rose gold one. Not the remastered one, but the first one. Um, the top row is a bit hard to work with, but if you have a like a glitter glue, you'll be fine. I do really love this color, which is not as chunky, and it's in the color Angelic. So yeah. <laughs> It looks like I haven't even touched this palette, but I have, I promise. But I do need to use this one a bit more. I think like in my new makeup collection, I'm gonna do like a new palette every week and try to use that one. So I have like a bit more of a rotation because now I'm just using like the newest palette and then I used it in a lot and then I buy a new one and then I forget about my old ones. So I think I'm gonna have like two or one palette uh, for like one week and then try to use it a lot uh, but i do really love the colors in this one and i do think huda beauty mattes especially are really good so i'm gonna keep this one i have my lunar beauty life's a drag i did use this a lot during the summer when it came out but i haven't used it in a while but i'm gonna keep it because it's so beautiful. Morphe, James Charles palette. Not getting rid of. Haven't used this as much as I should. I'm thinking about doing a more colorful look. Then I have my Naked Cherry. Which I do like a lot more than I like my Naked 3. You can't get that many looks out of it. But I do love some like pinky pink colors. Like this 
maroon colors like i do love the color store in this one it's my kind of shades so i do love it so i'm gonna keep it then i have my Too faced peach palette yeah still smells like peaches i got this when i was in america and i don't use it as much as i should i'm gonna keep it and then I have, as I said in the beginning, my Game of Thrones palette, which is new to me and I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna do a tutorial on my channel maybe with this. I'm gonna do something with these colors, I think, because I don't usually play with these kind of colors, like blue, blues and darker, like smoky colors. I've used like the Lannister colors a lot and the Daenerys, like the um, uh, Targaryen colors, like, yeah. But yeah, I wanna explore this palette a lot more. And also I love Game of Thrones, so it's kind of a collector piece. I don't know if you've seen it, but it has like quotes and then it has like the Iron Throne. It's a really cool palette. If you're a collector, I think you'll like it and also like it looks like a book so it's kind of kind of good but that's all of my eyeshadow palettes i'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen i'm keeping fourteen so i got rid of one two three palettes i think which is not that good but i didn't think i'm gonna get it rid i didn't think i was gonna get rid of that much so yeah so let's go to my face palettes now let's get into my face palettes which i do not have a lot and i do not think i will get rid of much so yeah let's get started so this is uh ofra glow up palette this looks like this and i think i'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup uh, bag because it has a lot of highlighters and I might need that then I have this Becca with Chrissy Teigen like I do not use this nearly enough like I've used this as you can see but, like this is kind of too dark for me and I haven't really used this and this is quite a scary color should I keep this Packaging is so beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna keep it. If I don't use it, I'm gonna give it away. Just like it's stunning. I love Becca. Stop yeah. And then I have this Chic Parade palette from Benefit. And it has Hula, Hula Light, Godfonia, Dandelion, and Rocket Shore. Which I do, I love mixing these two, which makes like the perfect um, bronze shade for me. And I do love all the blushes, so I'm definitely keeping this one. And then I have my Anastasia Glow Kit. I have two. I have the, um, uh, what's this one called? It's the Glow Kit or the Ultimate Glow which I do not use that often, this one. It's kind of darker shade, so I don't get much use of this, but I am keeping it. If I'm doing like clients or something, it can be good to have for darker skin. And then I have my baby, the Nicole Guerrero one. I love this highlighter. Like I've hit pan on this one and this one, but I have not used this in a while. Um, but I'm keeping both of them and then I have my cap on the shade and light palette so it's like I haven't hit pan on this these two shades uh, but the palette broke so they kind of um, yeah broke so I don't really use this a lot anymore but I want to use it up because like I hit pen on all of the shades that I do use. I don't really use this one. So I'm gonna try to use this one up. I haven't 
done much contouring lately but I need to get back into that and that but then I use this color for that but yeah I'm keeping all of this so this is what the drawers are currently looking like I haven't touched my hair stuff yet this is completely empty I have to clean this one out this only have like a medicine drawer left this is completely empty this is completely empty. This one's completely empty. This one is almost completely empty. I have like my body stuff left. So just take that one out. And then I just have makeup bags and hair stuff left. So kind of all of my makeup is done now. Um, Except for like my setting spray, so I'm gonna take my fix class and my all nighter and put that in my everyday makeup bag. I have to fix this one up because it's full now, and I have to um, I have to put my brushes in and stuff because they're over there. I'm not gonna film that, I'm just gonna do that. And then I'll put this one just in this bag. And makeup wise, I should have in my everyday makeup bag, probably. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's probably my entire makeup collection. So yeah, I'm gonna do an update when I get everything sorted in the new place. I don't know if I said that, but I'm moving. That's why I'm like emptying, emptying everything out. So yeah, that's empty, empty. That's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.